Welcome to another episode of Do You Even Resonate? In this show, we take two competitors, analyze their messaging, and then put their website in front of the very target audience and see whose messaging resonates better. Uh, we're going to look at uh, value, clarity, differentiation, all those good things. In this episode, we have two SEO, SEM giants, Ahrefs, and SEM Rush. Uh, in terms of size, SEM Rush is like 188 million a year uh, last year revenue versus Ahrefs did about 100 million a year or, or thereabouts. So not exactly. One is like two times bigger than the other. Uh, fierce competitors, category le leaders. So let's look at their site. So here we go. Hey, href starts with this big, massive headline, which I personally find very difficult to read. And what, well, I think it's too bloated to start with your brand. I already know where I am. So like, well, could cut this. Don't, and you start with the negative, like you don't have to be somebody to use it. So I don't know. So I, I'm assuming this is based on a bunch of user research that shows that people feel that they have to be a pro to use it. Is that why? Mm, I think they could do better. I personally not a fan of breaking up text with these emojis. I understand that's their visual style and that's that's fine. You need to have distinct brand assets, but it breaks up the reading experience. And in my you know my opinion is is uh, creates a sub optimal experience. Uh, they list all these logos that they're for. It looks like they're for really huge companies, okay? All in one SEO tool set and then, then these other three things. Mm, maybe. Oh, and see, they repeat the very same thing right after. So it's a waste of space to say the very same thing in the identical uh, wording right up below each other. So that's kind of a waste. Uh, so then use cases or jobs to be done. I think it's a great approach. I do hope this, the order, like what's number one or two is based on actual importance of how important is this job for the customer versus the other job. So there's, 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 there's some reason, not that some, some guy in the marketing department just thought that would be cool to put this one first. So information hierarchy matters. Oh, they have a demo vi video uh, on Gated. Uh, that's great. People always want to see the tool. And I do find that this web page in general is lacking screenshots. So in, even though you have demo and most people will not ever watch it, you need more screenshots. These cartoon dudes, you know, they don't add much to the clarity of the product. Um, then, oh, are you a junior marketer or SEO expert? And then it's easy to use. So I'm wondering about that. So A, if you list a bunch of people that you're for, it's kind of like, well, it seems like you're you're for everyone. So might as well skip that and just talk talk about your tool. Or is it important for you that they know that this for junior marketers? May, if if they have data that, that that is the thing, then sure, why not? Uh, it looks like they're very heavy on on their uh, content. That that's that's the power, like the, the free content, and then there's some guides and help center and this community and the cat, and and that's all cool. And again, this we're from aspiring bloggers to multinational brands. Again, this with this and that, and again, but pretty contrasting. So it creates kind of like dissonance here. Like, who is this for? I don't know. Like. And do I believe that this is a, I don't know. Yet when in the testimonial things, they lead with pro SEO suddenly. Suddenly this is the most important segment. So which is it? Why is it aspiring bloggers or SEO pros? Ah. There's, there's some homework I think that they need to do. And these logos now are the big giant companies. I think the general confusion of who, who it's for is, is screaming out. Okay, a bunch of scores, get started. All right, great. SEM rush. Uh, let's look at them. So get measurable results from online marketing. Now this is as vanilla, boring, all encompassed. Nobody is offended by this headline as, you know, ever. So truly it seems that uh, whoever crafted this tried to create the best, least offensive headline. It's not grabbing anyone's attention. It's 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 too generic. It's it's a complete dud, if you ask me. Uh, I love this. People always want to know what is it? What is it? What's the category of this? So you do need to always lead with what is it? Very important. Uh, leading brands also. This is for leading brands. See what's inside. So benefit statement and features. Benefit statement feature, and they have 
unlike Ahrefs, they, they do have uh, screenshots, which I find pretty helpful. Uh, overall, I find this layout uh, a better designed, easier to read, uh, less schizophrenic, more more to what's, what you would expect. Uh, they chose to highlight this particular um, quote here to, I guess it's very important that we would know that it's a all-in-one type of tool. Award-winning. Now, I don't really know who cares about award-winning. Like, do you care about award-winning? It's it's not a top 10 criteria for me ever when buying software. 30% um, of Fortune 500 use, uh, use this. So maybe it's important that Fortune 500 is a name because I saw here that... You know, bigger companies are growing 75% year over year. Might be a strategic move that they want this. But my question is like 30% of Fortune 500 users is, well, what are the other 70% using, right? More data, more ins. Nobody wants more data per se. Like who wants, who wants more data? I don't know. And then we have Oleg, Oleg, the CEO. Now, I know nothing about Oleg. Uh, he's an entrepreneur, SCM Russia is a successful company. So he's probably an intelligent person who um, built a great business. You know, I'll, I'll take my hat off. Great job, Oleg. I do not care if you eat your hat. You know, I understand the purpose of this section. It's to, to communicate your onlyness. Why choose you, right? And it's very important to communicate your onlyness. Yet, by inserting the CEO here, it's a distraction from the onlyness. It sounds like the actual purpose of this is internal politics. So, so whoever wrote this is just sucking up to Oleg. Oleg should have said no. She's like, no, do not suck up to me. I want to be about customer value and only and it's not about me. Um, yeah. Mar why marketers love SEM Rush? Um, so here they are just rejecting, uh, well, like communicating who this is for. This is most important use case. Um, that's it. Yeah. All right. So overall, strong effort on uh, both companies. Park. We run a preference test AEHREF versus SEM Rush, 30 person marketing panel. And 58% preferred SEM rush is messaging and 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 uh, what are they saying so let's let's start with AH refs actually so interesting that uh, it, I like that it says I don't have to be a pro to use the website I'm not a pro oh so that did hit hit home yeah uh, I I also I didn't li I like the idea that you don't have to be a uh, uh, a pro but it feels contradicting you know um why are these big brands using this company, which gave them more, more credibility? Yes, and you don't have to be an SEO expert. Similar things that I thought stood out for this person. Um, don't have to be a pro. Okay, that's uh, messaging more about improving knowledge. Uh, I'm not an SEO expert, so this appealed to me. So it's definitely appealing to a certain type of uh, person. Uh, the messaging of anyone can use this platform hits home. Oh, uh, yeah. So we can see that that's what the focus was. How big of the market is that? I don't know. Whereas SEM Rush, what people are saying is less noise. And I agree with that. AEHREFs' uh, layout is, is quite noisy, uh, looks more professional, um, easier to read. I gotta agree with this uh, type of stuff. Um, AEHREF is too goofy, uh, you know maybe. Um, both have a strong personal feel, like the design better, design, you know, uh, and the uh, copy go hand in hand. I like the tone, how it's laid out. Um, uh, more professional. He didn't like the CEO eating his hat. Hmm. I like it, Joseph. Um, yeah, so overall, really good effort on both uh, companies' parts. Um, that concludes our effort uh, for today. So I'll see you guys next time.